Hey, this is Olivia Perry with WiretapMusic.com. This month, we have a metal band. Our first metal band. First metal band to be on Wiretap Music. Gracian, check it out. Did you always, were you always into metal music and did you always want to play metal music? Both my parents are classical musicians and so I definitely had the classical nurturing. I would do a lot of solo competitions and playing in youth orchestras and I really separated the two. Mm -hmm. um, but then when I left home, when I graduated high school and moved to San Francisco, um, I kind of like had this thought, like how come, why can't I play metal music? Right. <laughs> Just because I play the cello doesn't mean I can't do it. Pretty much ever since I started playing guitar and listening to metal, which was right when I was about 12, I wanted to play metal. <laughs> Growing up, it was like Led Zeppelin. I mean, it still is. I have a Led Zeppelin belt buckle off. Oh, nice. Cow. It was all like that stuff. I cut my teeth on. Eagles and Beatles and Led Zeppelin and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So if you could tour with any other metal band, uh, who would it be? I guess I'd have to say Judas Priest because they're like one of my all-time favorite bands. I love Rob, Rob Halford and I mean just getting to see them play every night I think would make me so happy. Obviously I'd say Mastodon just because like that'd be striking while the iron's hot, you know, like you, that's as big of a spotlight that's been on metal in a long time. I would go with Enslaved and my dream tour would be to play with them on a metal cruise ship Ah, uh, in between one of the Scandinavian countries. Nice! <laughs> What is the difference between metal bands in the 80s and metal bands now? Well, I think back in the 80s there weren't that many subgenres of metal. Mm -hmm. Whereas now mm -hmm. it seems like, you know, someone farts in a song and it's like, fart metal! You know, it's sort of like, they, it's mm -hmm. like, it's so dissected in these like, many, 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 many categories. There wasn't as many bands. I mean, there was a lot that we don't know about and, or more underground, but metal was it was like more strong because it was pure. Is that? It's more like it's not a copy of a copy of a copy of right. watered down. It was like the essence of metal. It started there. Mm -hmm. I mean, sleaze. <laughs> Lots of sleaze. There's still sleaze, just not to the ex uh, same extent as there was back in the '80s. What do, What do you do for a living? Um, I work for Electronic Arts, which is also known as EA Games. It's a huge video game company, um, and I work on the audio team for The Sims games. I work with developmentally disabled senior citizens. Beer. <laughs> I work at a brewery. You, you know that. Yeah. You guys know that. <laughs> about yourself or quality in yourself uh, that draws you to making harder music? I love the challenge. I think 
heavier music offers presents a challenge when you're trying to play it and write it. There's a lot of snobs out there that that will be like, oh, metal's on the same page as classical music. A lot of theory and composition, virtuosity and technicality. I've never thought of myself as an aggressive or violent or angry or loud, certainly not a loud person. Yeah. So I don't really know. I just really enjoy metal, that's for sure. I think that in general, I'm a very non-confrontational person and I'm not a very angry person or aggressive person. Um, and I think that Playing music that's more aggressive allows me to have that kind of emotional breadth, I guess. I like music that you can hear someone's personality. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens that to be that like Max and Jackie and the other people that I play with, the way our personality works in music is aggressive. We want to shake it up. Mm -hmm.